We have Steve McQueen coming in later with the rest of the cast. Maybe if you have a, an anecdote or an example of what makes him such a, an amazing director, something you worked on with him on, on this project in particular that sort He's of shows. terrific. I mean, you know, that's the reason. I, I, I don't usually get along with any director. <laughs> <laughs> I got along great with this guy. <laughs> I talk about him all over the country, like I would an athlete. I told Francis Coppola, and I said, I'm working with Steve McQueen. He said, oh, he's good. And I told him that he'd like to hear that. So, you know, the, he was terrific to work for. He said, you know, cut. You're supposed to be old, walk like an 86-year-old man. I said, I am 86. He said, well, <laughs> walk a little older. <laughs> yeah. he, he was great, great to work with. He treads the line between structure and freedom really beautifully. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he, he sets up a dynamic, both in the aesthetic of the film and where the camera is and how it moves. And, and it all feels quite contained. It's very, very specific. He has, of course, the very definition of the artist's eye, having come from the world of visual arts. But then within that, he allows the actors and, and promotes a sense of freedom and a sense of play. And he gets excited by performance. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I've worked with directors and you get a sense that they maybe don't like actors too much and they wish they could make a film without them, but right. with Steve McQueen it's very, very different. He's open and he's excited to see what you're going to bring, you know, and he'll direct you as needs be, as he thinks the tone of the scene needs to follow a particular path perhaps, but just so specific and I loved it, loved working with him. And you find yourself wanting to please him. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you but know that, what I mean? Yeah. The yeah. first time I met him in London, it was <laughs> like, well, Steve McQueen wants to meet me. I hadn't seen any of his films, but I was telling him at the dinner table, my whole life story. He's very interested in yeah. just, people. Yeah. He really is. He's really interested. He asks, yeah. he asks a lot of questions. Totally. Yeah. He, doesn't I found think, myself he doesn't think he knows all the In the, the most answers. beautiful interviews yeah. with him between takes, where he'd be really fascinated about where you're from, what your ideas right. on things, exactly. and he'd listen and listen. Yeah. It was lovely. Yeah. I feel like there is a genuine joy for making, making movies. And so there was a, um, it was a night when, it, when we were all in the car and we're driving up to, this, for, to the hospital to drop uh, off uh, um, Elizabeth's character. And, and we, we come out of the car, we walk up, and he says, well, we'll make a movie. We're making a movie. Yeah. And I remember thinking, how, but how refreshing. <laughs> but did you know what I mean? But how refreshing that someone so established still finds like the thrill in it, the joy in it, which meant that I was truly excited, it being my first movie, to, to know that you can get to that place and still feel that way. That was, that's, I feel like the encompassing thing about Steve. Sorry, I consider so Steve to be, uh, it, it, I'm very odd in my description, but like an alchemical wedding. You know, there's very rare uh, humans who have their masculine and feminine side married to each other yeah. within. And that, that kind of complete human is a rare find. When you find it in an artist, it's even rarer. So he's like, he's like a unicorn. Mm -hmm. There is a and real so, like, true want for... As far as creating a safe space where you have that receptivity of, and sensitivity to be able to like really um, see the things that on the surface aren't there but are bubbling underneath. Right. I mean, it's magical to have that. It's a feminine quality, and he's in tune with it, and it's just very beautiful to have that you know, and you know, openness. All, all these, all of us, Cynthia, myself, Michelle, um, Elizabeth, definitely have <laughs> had the stamp of, you know, being sort of, you could easily typecast us, mm -hmm. you know, for various reasons, skin tone, voice, height, you know, um, whatever. And I felt like, I feel that Steve sees you. I was just gonna say that. He sees you. Mm -hmm. he, he sees a part of you that the world, um, the, the, the limitations of how the world would see you, mm -hmm. and he'll throw that out the window, and he sees all these other colors mm -hmm. in you. And he's, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like an actor whisperer. Yeah. He mm -hmm. just, slowly pulls it out of you. It's a rare and human to see leader. that potential yeah. in a person. You know, Cheering you on, you know? Yeah. But you know what, it's such a relief. To oh her. my God, it <laughs> is. Mm -hmm. You're a breath of fresh air, Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we love you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> He's squirming. So squirming.